hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video we will create an api to get the profile of a user via the token we have generated in the login api so let's just get started okay so first of all uh, we need uh, to create an api and these api should be protected via the sanctum middleware so let's just create we can first create a route group so we can combine all the protected APIs and we can say middleware and this should be auth colon sanctum and now we can write all our protected APIs here so what does Samsung Sanctum do when we uh, call these protected APIs and we should need to pass a valid token in the headers and Sanctum will validate these tokens and uh, the data or we can say the user information will be added in our request parameters. So let's just do it. So we can create this time we can create a get api as we don't need to pass any parameter so you can just say get profile and now pass the controller and function should be get profile okay so now let's just create this function and here we can use our request and as always we do to handle the exceptions okay so now uh, how we can get the data here so whenever we call a protected api with the sanctum middleware what does the san sanctum do it will identify the token validate and the user information is assigned to our request parameter or we can say to our request object so this is how we can get the id of the user we can say user underscore id equals to request dot user and this is how you can get the complete user details and we don't want the all the details but we only want the id and this is how we can get the id and if you want to get to the name from the request parameter you can say name equals to dollar request dot user dot name so this is how you can get the name but for this api we only need to use the id and now if we can say user equals to user colon colon find and we can pass the user id here so it will give the user details and now we just need to pass that information we can say this time status should be true message will be um, user profile and in the data we can pass the user object okay now let's just try to run our api so let's copy it here and name should be get profile okay so first of all uh, what we'll do is uh, we will not pass anything here like in the headers or any, anywhere and just try to send it so as you can see it will giving us the error what's this giving to view arguments to eliminate router group okay we have made a mistake okay 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 this should be close here and not here okay now let's try to run it okay this time we have got an error guard sanctum oh okay so now 
we are receiving an error of route login not found means when we are accessing a protected route it is redirecting us so in this case when we are working with apis we cannot allow it to redirect our request so basically what we need to do is it's passing a view here as you can see it's passing a html here so we want the errors in the json format so we can pass in the headers just accept application json so what it will do is uh, when when we pass headers accept parameter it will give us the response always in the json format now let's send it and you can see this time we are receiving a message we can also change this object and we will do it in the later video like we will create a response with the same as we have used it like a status a message and a data object we can convert it in that format also but as you can see we are receiving an error of unauthenticated like means we should need to pass a valid token to access this route so just let's try to log in again from this api to create a new access token and now just need to pass this token in the headers as authorization and this token will work bearer with bearer so these are the bearer token like the normal jw tokens so we have passed our authorization token and now let's send it okay so now as you can see we have received the user detail via the token okay now let's just create an another account with the check we are not using the essay this time we are which created we will create an account with the email of okay we have used the token of check okay now if uh, i want to get the token of adjust profile now this like if i want to get record of ajay we can just log in with ajay and now this time we have a different token and let's just pass a new add a new bearer and yeah okay b e a this should be beer and now you can see now this time we have get the information of azure okay so this is how we use we will to authenticate any users as you can see we are not passing any of the id but we are accessing all the information via the token and one more thing that i want to show is uh, all the tokens we generate are saved here and here you can see um, we get the type of the model like with which model we have created the token the tokenable id the name of the device which we are passing while signing in the login api and the token and the abilities uh, what does abilities means so we can assign every token and ability to access some of the routes so basically star means uh, this asterisk means that uh, this token can access all the routes we will create and you can control these things if you want to, to allow a specific token to allow access only few routes you can pass these things like this and we will cover it in the later videos yeah so that's all for this video and in the next video we will change we will uh, try to update the details of a user via the token and we will add some more fields here like we will upload a profile picture we will add a phone number etc and yeah okay so wait for the next video to come till then like share and subscribe to my youtube channel